Yet again, we've been hit with another groundbreaking innovation from Microsoft. Honestly, it is getting really hard to keep up with the latest trend as it relates to the AI race. Microsoft has dropped really interesting new updates to the chat GPT, and this might just be the strongest response Google will be getting in relation to Bard so far. Recently, with the internet feature that is incorporated into Bard, we've been seeing some really positive responses to the application. This, of course, the competition will always see as a threat. In the recent Microsoft Build conference, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella made some really, really interesting announcements about the new updates to ChatGPT, which I think will be really giving Google a run for its money. And one amazing new feature that was also discussed, which is the Copilot, and we will look into this later in this video. One could have thought that the initial regulation moves at the early stage of ChatGPT by watchdogs will make for a slow introduction of new features and releases. But we are seeing something really quite different here. Innovation seems to be moving at the speed of light, and I really think we should pay more attention to safety at some point. In this build conference, Microsoft announced 50 new updates, but the CEO held the spotlight on the five most interesting updates. The first of the updates, which I think is very interesting, is the inclusion of Bing AI and ChatGPT. I think this is interesting because it is obvious that this is a response to Google Bard. The inclusion of internet access in Bard has built some really stiff competition for ChatGPT, which was not connected before now. The demonstration of this feature shows that ChatGPT is able to give more updated information than it used to. Thanks to Bing AI, which sources this information from the internet and even includes source links for the user to explore more. Now, take a look at this clip here. Clearly, Microsoft is playing a catch-up game here with Google. Google had initially announced the integration of different plugins for an increased user experience. Here, Microsoft seems to be following this same route with the addition of about 50 plugins and they hope to integrate more soon enough. And Microsoft has been really thoughtful with the inclusion of plugins as they make themselves available across the two platforms, ChatGPT and Bing, once the user adds them to one. This eliminates the need for repeating the same task over and over, and overall enhances efficiency. One really interesting edge that the ChatGPT and Bing combo have over the Google Bard is the ability to understand the contents of web pages as we see here. It is really insane what Microsoft has done with this. And also here we see that the AI combo is able to call up necessary plugins to help solve different tasks, as we see in this demonstration with Instacart. If you ask me, this is a really, really interesting feature that will go really far in time management for users. It's a really interesting race, however, and we look forward to how Google will be able to respond to this recent development. There's no doubt we will be getting one, and the only question is how soon. Remember earlier in this video, I did make mention of the Copilot. Now this is one area I think Microsoft has really set the standard at the moment, and it seems they are learning from what Google did with Bard, enabling easy access to other Google services like Gmail directly from the application. In a similar fashion, Microsoft has designed this new feature, Copilot, to be directly integrated into Windows OS and this is expected to roll out as a new update to Windows 11. Copilot is basically designed as an AI-powered assistant, which helps out with pretty much every operation in your computer. And the idea behind this is really, really breathtaking. And we will just go ahead and show you what this does for you. As you can see here, clicking this icon opens up a new section on the screen here, which is dedicated to AI. And this basically holds this position in any application that might be open on the computer. And this addition really aims at making the user experience with Windows as seamless as possible. In the demonstration at the build, we see that this addition basically has access to all the features in the computer and can easily access them to help you make your experience awesome all by the click of a button. Now it seems Microsoft is making one bold step into improving its systems and also making them wildly integrated into many other AI programs. Just listen to this clip as the CEO introduces the Azure Studio. We see here that Microsoft has successfully created an ecosystem where different enthusiasts can leverage the vast advancement of the chat GPT to create their own AI program. The platform aids with the creation, testing, and rollout of these programs. And it is really comforting to know that Microsoft has paid some attention to safety here, although no one knows how strong that feature is for now.
Anyways, we hope the measures are enough to check activities and prevent the creation of dangerous programs. With this competition that is moving at the speed of light in the AI race, we are faced with some other pressing aspects that borders on safety. I mean, we have heard the Microsoft CEO make reference to safety at different points in his presentation, but the speed at which they roll out new features might leave room for mistakes. This seems to be a growing concern, and we see here that Eric Schmidt, a former CEO at Google, has expressed some fear to this effect. Eric Schmidt's fears are channeled towards the unidentified vulnerabilities by cybersecurity, which might likely result in a zero-day exploit. And the zero-day exploit basically points to a cyber attack on vulnerabilities that are yet to be patched up. He exercises fear that this might form an existential threat if the unchecked advancement is allowed to continue. And for the fact that someone who is an insider like Schmidt is this concerned about this, we should all be terrified. But one really confusing thing is, some of those who called for a check on the rate of advancement in AI initially, like Elon Musk, seem to be joining the race. And speaking of Elon Musk, there's really interesting news coming out from Neuralink, a company owned by Elon. They're really taking a different route that is just amazing. Neuralink has been in some legal battles with regulatory agencies with regard to operations and has recently been reported to have secured approval from the FDA for a human trial for their product. And in case you're confused here, this is a company that is dedicated to the research and development of brain implants. And in case you were wondering, they made a tweet to this effect on their official handle. With the content, we are excited to share that we have received the FDA's approval to launch our first in-human clinical study. This is the result of incredible work by the Neuralink team in close collaboration with the FDA and represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. Recruitment is not yet open for our clinical trial. We'll announce more information on this soon. Neuralink is dedicated to doing some interesting things, which all should really look forward to. The idea behind the implant is to help with conditions that include obesity, autism, depression, and schizophrenia. However, this doesn't stop there. Now here is where things get really crazy. They intend to include web browsing and telepathy abilities. We might just be seeing cyborgs in our lifetime. Every prior information about when this project will make human trials had failed since 2019. This can be attributed to the series of legal complications that the company encountered along the line. They finally made an official request to the FDA in early 2022, and what we now have is the result of that request. For anyone following what Neuralink is proposing to do here, you can agree when I say it's a really ambitious project and some of the issues that the FDA wanted to clarify in relation to the program as a prerequisite for approval have been said to border around lithium-powered batteries, safe extraction without damage to brain tissues, and the possibility of wires migrating into the brain to cause complications. The project has attracted a lot of attention that revolves around making sure the company operates by the laws of ethics. There have been inquiries by lawmakers on the method that has been adopted in the testing of this technology in animals. The US Department of Agriculture is said to be really interested in this aspect as animal welfare is included. One interesting case that the company has rests with the Department of Transportation. They are looking into allegations that Neuralink might have transported hazardous pathogens on chips removed from monkey brains without appropriate containment measures. The results from these investigations are likely to alter the flow of this project. We keep our fingers crossed. Seeing the level that modern technology has reached within a short period is nothing less than amazing. And as much as we admire all the efforts and resources that are being poured into this, the need for regulations should always remain paramount. In this recent race for the development of AI programs and other insane inventions, I think we are to brace up and look out for results beyond what we might have expected. Most tech companies with the resources will like to remain relevant, and this is the spice needed for more insane outputs. It seems Microsoft and Google are in the middle of a tug of war recently, and we look forward to seeing who comes out on top, or even new companies that will rival both. What are your thoughts about regulation in the AI race? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to stay tuned, and we will see you in the next video.